Earlier this year, I decided that I wanted to start taking better care of my body. I didn't care about bulking up or losing weight. I really just wanted to keep my heart healthy. So I used ChatGPT to help me come up with a workout plan that I could do at the gym, my office, or at home. And I've now lost 35 pounds. So I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to be a personal trainer. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to use ChatGPT to build a diet based only on the foods that you actually want to eat. One really quick note before we dive into the video. If you're not willing to put in the work to lose the weight or to gain the muscle, if you're not willing to adjust your diet, then none of these things are going to work for you. You have to be willing to put in the time. And if you're willing to put in the time to make it happen, then ChatGPT is sort of the cheat code for how to get there. So let's go ahead and look at how we do that. First of all, we want to set realistic goals for ourselves. So I'm going to prompt ChatGPT, how can I set realistic fitness goals for the next six months? All right, so ChatGPT is sort of giving us some answers here on what we can do about setting realistic goals for the next six months. First of all, we have to assess our current fitness level. We have to know exactly what we want to achieve. And then it says make your goals smart. So specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time bound. And you can even take this a step further. Best way to assess current fitness level. So now it's giving us ways to assess currently where we're at based on our resting heart rate, our BMI, and then a little, basically a little mini physical fitness test. It's a, a one and a half mile run or walk test, uh, push-ups and setups, flexibility, balance, functional fitness. And then you sort of say, hey, this is where I'm at now. This is where I want to be in six months. And that's sort of a good way to just kind of get started. You have to know what you want to do first. And in order to do that, you have to know where you are now. Another fun way to kickstart this would be recommend a 30-day fitness challenge. Right, so now ChatGPT is giving us a 30-day fitness challenge. It's even got equipment needed. So yoga mat, optional for comfort, jump rope, optional for cardio days, dumbbells or resistance bands. And then it's giving us the warm out and then what to do uh, basically each day. It gives guidance on when you should take your rest days and then just a little extra info here. But let's say, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this answer it's given me and I'm going to say I don't have resistance bands, I don't have dumbbells, rework this challenge for no equipment. And it did just that. It gave us a 30 day challenge with no equipment. So that's a fun way to kickstart a new program or sort of, it even mentions it here, if you're sort of stuck in a plateau or you want to change up the routine, doing a 30 day challenge is a nice way to sort of change things up a little bit so you're not doing the same thing every day. Say you're trying to be very specific about what you want. You're not trying to lose weight. You're trying to just gain muscle, um, but you don't want to go to the gym. So here's another prompt. How can I build muscle without going to the gym? All right, so now it's giving us a little guide on how to build muscle without going to the gym. It's using body weight as resistance. It mentions resistance band, using household items like Water bottles, backpacks filled with books. It's got a bunch of different stuff here. Heel sprints. And it even talks about your nutrition too. So let's take that even further. Should I do cardio before or after the weights? And it's giving me pros and cons of doing cardio before weights or cardio after weights. So you can kind of pick your own poison with that. So now we're going to look at how can I increase my bench press. We'll throw that in there. All right, so now it's telling us how to increase our bench press. It's giving us ideas on technique, frequency, different variations, rest and recovery, nutrition is obviously a big thing. So if you've got a specific thing that you're trying to fix in your workout, whether it's how many push-ups you can do, how many setups you can do, you want to be able to do more pull-ups, or you want to be able to run a faster two-month, ChatGPT can help you build plans to improve any of those things. You just got to know how to talk to it and then be willing to put in the work. And there are some days where you don't feel like necessarily working, that's where this kind of prompt will come into play. How can I maintain motivation to work out consistently? And it's given us that answer. If we want to maintain motivation to work out consistently, we have to set clear goals. If you set your goals too strict and you know that you're not going to reach them realistically, you're probably going to give up and fail. So track your progress. Establish a routine. Routine and habits are super important. Find a workout buddy. You're definitely more motivated to go if you know you've got someone waiting on you at the gym. Reward yourself. Commit financially. That's just saying if you invest in a personal trainer or buy a gym membership, then you're more likely to go to the gym. Mindset shift. I feel like this is the most important. If you're viewing it as a chore or something you don't necessarily want to do, then you're going to be less likely to be motivated to do it. 
mindset shift. I feel like that's the most important one. I feel like I feel like if you really want to lose weight or get into shape or build muscle, then you need to be willing to do it no matter what. If you wake up in the morning and you don't feel like getting out of bed to go to the gym, if you let yourself think like that, then you won't do it. For me, I have to say, hey, this is part of my day. It's what I do and I'm going to do it whether I want to or not. I don't enjoy getting up early and going to the gym, but I enjoy having that done. Otherwise, it'll never happen. Let's look at another example. Say you're sitting behind a desk all day, uh, like I do. Can you provide tips for staying active during the desk job? So it's giving us a list of things you can do here at your desk to stay active. And it's got some fun ones in here. Uh, frequent short breaks. If you're able to get up and move around, that's super helpful. I like to, a lot of the times when I'm working, I'll either stand up and do some push-ups or depending on where I'm at, I'll go run some stairs for a minute. Just kind of keep the energy going. And then it's got the exercises you can do at your desk. Uh, invest in active furniture. Consider a standing desk or desk converter. I've got one of these at work and it's awesome. I try to stand as much as I can during the day. Using technology. So fitness trackers. My wife and I have the Apple Watches and we keep our watch face to the one that shows our rings all day. I feel like if I'm looking at my fitness rings and I know they're not closed, it drives me crazy. And then they've got it set up now to where you can compete with other people or sort of share your fitness. So when my wife hits her goals, like it'll notify me, hey, she's closed all the rings. And then the same thing for when I close all my rings. And we kind of go back and forth about it. I'll be like, oh, how'd you close your ranks today? I know you didn't do all this. Um, just a fun little competition between us. Let's take it a step further and say you have no idea how to start. So here I'm going to prompt and say, I've never worked out before and I want to start. I don't know what to do. I'd like to lose some weight and build some cardio. So it's giving us this list here. Set some goals. It says consult a doctor if we've got uh, health conditions or concerns. Start slow, that's super important. The first time I started working out this year, I burnt myself out pretty quickly and then took like a month off before I started to get back into it. So don't do that. Cardio training, uh, walking, jogging, running, cycling, swimming. Super important. Everyone should be trying to get at least 30 minutes a day. That's like the, the bare minimum cardio that everyone should be doing. It doesn't necessarily have to be running, walking, hills, sprints. And then it's got strength training, body weight exercises, resistance bands. So it breaks all this down for us and gives us an idea about how to get started. And the important thing, clear goals. We mentioned this earlier. You have to know what you're trying to do. I recommend just looking in the mirror. If you look in the mirror and you say, hey, I've got too much fat. I want to lose it. Well, then let's start with that. If that's the first thing you notice about yourself that's affecting your confidence, the first thing that you want to change when you look at yourself, let's start there. If you look in the mirror and say, hey, my arms are too small. Then let's start there. Tell ChatGPT, I want a workout plan and to build my arms up, to lose some weight, to have more confidence. Let's look at diet now. When I started to lose weight and sort of change my lifestyle habits, it wasn't necessarily a diet. I'm not on a strict diet. I eat whatever I want. I eat it in moderation. You try to cut out the sugar and just the, the crap that they put in your food over here. So like, So try to buy more natural foods. We've switched to like real butter and coffee creamer that's not pure corn syrup cutting out the sugars and the sodas and the energy drinks all the junk we were putting in our body before even the coffee creamer and the butter we were buying is full of like corn syrup and just garbage and sugar and you really have to watch what you're putting into your body and just sort of being aware of that but let's look at a few fun different ways to use chat gpt for specific dietary needs the first thing I'm going to post is, and this is a big one that I deal with, how to overcome sugar cravings. All right, so it's giving me a whole list of things you can do here to sort of prevent sugar cravings and how to overcome them. Um, staying hydrated, it says drink plenty of water throughout the day. I find if I just keep water in front of me all the time, then I'm constantly drinking water. For example, both of these are full of water. I don't know why I grabbed both, but I like having them here. Increase protein, uh, limit artificial sweeteners, read labels, and it's even got some plan ahead. If you're planning on cutting sugar out, clean out your pantry, stop buying it. Sorry, little Debbie, we had to. Here's another good one. What foods can help boost metabolism? Say you want to build a diet based on foods that can help your metabolism. ChatGPT has the answer for that as well. All right, so now it's giving me a list of foods here that can help boost metabolism. Um, it's even got coffee and green tea on here, coconut oil, bone broth, super like high dense in uh, minerals. 
Let's try another one. What are some strategies to overcome emotional eating? So now it's your radio list of strategies to help overcome emotional eating. Recognize a sign, keep a food diary. This one's kind of big and it works for a lot of different things. If you're writing down when you're doing something that you shouldn't necessarily be doing or something that you're going to feel guilty about doing, then you're less likely to do it. I do the same thing for my budget. If I know I'm about to spend money, I'm going to make a, a note of it on my phone. Why am I spending the money? Just by the process of doing that, I've stopped spending money because I don't want to look at a list at the end of the week and be like, man, I really wasted a lot of money here. Uh, staying active, avoiding trigger foods at home. So it's got this whole list. Uh, limit alcohol and caffeine because those can contribute to emotional eating. Boy, can they. Here's another fun one. What foods can help reduce inflammation in the body? This is especially important if you are planning to work out. All right, so now it's giving us this list of foods that'll help prevent. So now it's giving us this list of foods that'll help reduce inflammation in the body. Uh, fish, berries, a lot of things with antioxidants in it. For example, did you know extra virgin olive oil has properties similar to inside painkillers? That's like taking like a Motrin, for example. Nuts, cherries, whole grains, beans. So it's giving us this whole list of things here that helps reduce inflammation in the body super helpful let's say you know what kind of diet you want you've seen it on podcast or on another video or your friends are talking about it what are the pros and cons of the paleo diet and it gave us that exactly pros cons of the paleo diet you can do this for any diet or you can design your own diet and say hey what are the pros and cons of this if you were to put like a meal calendar together say hey this is what i'm eating for every day of the week what am i going to be deficient in you can say hey am i missing protein here do i need more uh leafy greens here you can do all that with chat gpt and sort of make sure that you're hitting everything and obviously taking your vitamins speaking of vitamins so i'm going to say recommend a vitamin regimen to help me get started yeah, so it's given us a list of different vitamins we can take here, multivitamins, your magnesium, probiotics. And it's also given some ideas about interactions with medications, like certain vitamins can interact, you can overdose on certain ones. It's important to have your blood work so you know what you're deficient in. Here's another fun one. Suggest a week's worth of keto-friendly meals. Say so you know you want to go on keto, but you don't know what that looks like. ChatGPT can give you an example. So now it's giving me this a week worth of keto friendly meals and you can take this a step further say you don't want spinach in your diet you can say hey i like this but take out the tuna salad take out the mushrooms and have it rebuild it just based on foods that you actually will eat so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed i hope you took something from it and like i said in the video you have to be willing to put in the time i get up at four o'clock in the morning i go to the gym i come back i shower and then I work on editing videos and then I get ready and go to work. I find if I try to make myself work out in the evening, I'm usually too tired from work to actually be able to make that happen. And it gets skipped a lot of the time. Get up early, go to the gym, work hard. I appreciate you checking out the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up. There is a link to my newsletter in the description. If you follow my newsletter, I will be sending out prompting tips on them. A lot of different things on diet and exercise, resume and sort of career boosting prompts for ChatGPT. There's a lot of fun stuff coming in the newsletter, so be sure to check that out, and I will see you next time.